Whew. What is going on today, ladies and gents? What is up, YouTube? Whoa, whoa, that thing fell on me. There we go. So today, this is a pair of sunglasses, not a pair of boobs. Today, I want to do another micro lure challenge, and it's actually the same chatterbait, just different color. I like that chatterbait so much, that chrome and that uh, chrome chartreuse, I don't metallic chartreuse, I don't know what you'd call it, but I liked it so much, I want to do it. I ordered another one. Actually, I ordered a bunch of them. Um, but today I'm actually doing a gray metallic and I'm probably gonna have to switch up colors uh, It's midday right now, so it's the bites probably gonna be a little tough a little bit But I think with the correct color choice and a little bit of slab sauce We can get the job done. So today here's the challenge rules seven fish Over 10 inches in the box. That's the challenge if I can get seven fish over 10 inches challenge will be complete All right Let's get to it. I'm going to show you the bait right now. All right, here we go. Tiny lure challenge, a little chrome chatterbait. And I thought, you know, it's Bluebird Sky Days. If you saw the uh, top five color video, Bluebird Sky Days, fairly clear water really sunny not not whole lot of wind at all so today we're gonna go with the pink and white probably could have gone pink and chartreuse but i'm gonna go pink and white and then of course where is it gotta throw a little juice on there Whew. that is hot don't leave this out in the sun that bottle is super hot holy smokes wow and we're in deep water, deep, deep water. But there are brush piles. So let's get over the top of these things, start catching fish. Oh, right underneath the boat. I'm gonna try vertically jigging this. It's gonna be a little different than uh, when I was using this for post spawn. This is summertime crappie fishing. These fish are deep water. I'm in 20 feet right now. They're, I'm marking them all the way down to, phew, Right the, oh, that was a fish, dang. I missed him. Oh, there he is. Let's, uh, let's tighten this up. Fish number one. He's gonna be close. Actually, no, he's not. I lied. This probably isn't the best lake for this. I lied, he's not even close. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's, it's hot out today. I'm blaming it on the heat. Well, I'm gonna vertically jig this thing. Because I'm right over the top of them. I probably could have thrown this on a like an 11 foot jig rod instead of this seven and a half foot casting rod, but I thought, well, I might need a cast today. This is kind of going to go into the uh, how to fish brush piles challenge video as well, or how to fish brush piles, I guess, or where to find them. This is actually a good spot to uh, find brush piles here. There's deep weed lines that goes out to about 14, 15 feet. Oop, there was a hit. There he is, oh no, had him. And then they, these man-made brush piles are placed just off of the weed line to give these fish extra cover in deeper water. That's where you should place brush piles, by the way. Where these crappie are normally gonna be, especially during the summertime. There he is. There's, a, there's one. Oh, we let it go. There he is, there he is. Come on, be a, be a good one. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna get it done on this lake. I really don't. There's a bunch of them right below the boat. Look at all that. Just a ton of them right below the boat. Oh, there's a fish. I was messing around showing you what was below the boat and, oh no, these guys are not getting hooked very well. The other day I had a, it was during the, there's a fish, there we go. Come on, stay on there. What are you, another dink? Well, he inhaled it, but he is another dink. A 
players. Players. Nothing but baby crappie today. There's a fish. There we go. Might have to move a spot here. Find a different spot to throw these. None in the boat so far. Oh, that was a hit. Because there's a fish on. Good one, little guy. Guy was fighting though. Thought for a second he had me fooled. Like he was gonna be a good one. There's a fish. All right, here we go. Continuation of the micro chatterbait. Chrome, black and chartreuse. Let's see if this thing can actually get it done. Wind picked up today, that's for dang sure. That's right, got my new little, little fuzzy rabbit ear microphone thingy. I don't know. It's supposed to really help. Oh, there's a fish right off the bat. He's not very big. Uh, no, I don't think he's very big. No. No, he's not. This is not what we're looking for. There he goes. I did find the school. I see a bigger school on the sonar. It's just whether or not they're the actual fish I need. And yes, I'm going to have to be facing the wind for this whole thing. So I do apologize for that, but. I do think I'm gonna catch some fish here. There he is. Ooh, he's gonna be close. No, maybe not, I don't know. I gotta get my bump board out. No, uh, I think he's gonna be short. Yeah, that's gonna be a short fish. Yeah, he's only about a nine. That's a nine, niner. All right, just uh, let that nine inch fish go. Hopefully there's some decent ones down here. There's a fish. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I wonder if these are all just nine inch fish. What's the bump board say? Yeah, he's just shy of nine. It's gotta be at least a couple tens in there, come on. You'd think, right? There he is. Now I'm on the school, but I don't think these are, uh, you know, when you find a school of fish like this, you hate to move, but I don't think they're the right size. I really don't, which sucks. <laughs> Cause it looks like there's quite a few of them down there. This guy feels small. Yeah. So I'm gonna get another one before I have to close this. There's one. There's one right there. Oh, they do not feel big. This is even smaller school. I don't know, might have to move. Might have to move to find a different school because this, this one I don't think has a keeper fish in it. Or my definition of keeper, as far as this challenge goes. There's another one. There's a ton of them down there. 
but they're not the right size. Nope. I mean, if the challenge is to catch like 30 fish, can we change the challenge rules? Is that how it works? No. You set the rules, you gotta live, you gotta play by them. There he is. Another seven. Well, if we wanted to prove that it works, this bait does work apparently. Maybe, maybe this might be it. That might be our 10. He's gonna be close. Might, whoa, 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 easy buddy. Oh my goodness. Well, he's like nine and, nine and a quarter. You got my hopes up, big guy. You got my hopes up. There we go. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Choked it though, holy smokes. There he is. I think they're just teasing me with this, these nine and a half inch fish. I think he's short. I think he's way short. Nine and a quarter. There we go. Come on, be a decent fish. Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Be a decent fish. I don't think he's gonna make it. Well, if you wanna catch a bunch of tiny crappie, there you go, here's your lure. Little chrome colored chatterbait. Yeah, that's about an eight inch fish. Oh, just today's one of those days, I guess. There's a ton of crappie down there and none of them are even close to what I need. All right, so apparently I forgot to uh, film the outro for this challenge, this tiny lure challenge. Um, I actually, I'm, I just wrapped up the 1v1 uh, challenge video with three pound crappie. That'll be posting after this video, but stay tuned for that. Uh, I actually used that same chatterbait in this video and it caught most of my fish for this video, this 1v1 challenge video I did against three pound, Matt from three pound crappie. Um, it's a great bait because you can either burn it across the weed tops, which I caught a couple crappie from this little point right behind me uh, doing that. I also slowed it down. Actually, as the bite kind of slowed down, I was able to kind of yo-yo it back to the boat, um, let it burn it a little bit, let it drop. And these crappie were actually hitting it on the paws. This, I know I, know I didn't catch a whole lot of big fish in this video, that lake I was on. Uh, it's not really known for a whole lot of big fish anymore, but there are a lot of fish in there. So. Feel free to check out that chatterbait lure. I'll put it in the link. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Uh, you can click on that, check it out. I got a couple different colors. I did the, the what was it? Metallic chartreuse. I did the metallic chartreuse one. And now I did the chrome. I got, a, I got a blue and I think I got a black one to do that I want to do separate videos for, but be sure to check those out in the description below. All right, if you like these challenge videos, be sure to like and share the video. And comment below if you got any other ideas for challenge videos. I love hearing the challenge video ideas, so comment below. If you're not a subscriber, below the video, red subscribe button, click that and click the bell. The bell notifies you every time I post a video. If that doesn't work, see my face at the end of the video holding the crappie. Click on that as well. We'll see ya.